What it do, West Side Crew? Like, share, subscribe, slide your finger to the right, hit the bell to be notified. So you'll know when your boy West Side Dread had make another video. So today we have another so delicious ice cream. We have the salted caramel, non-dairy, of course, and boom. We found some Magnum. Um, now there, ice cream and pull out the freezer. Bam! There go the box. Yes, it is velvety vanilla flavor indulgence dipped in sweet Belgian chocolate. And it's plant based, baby. So it's vegan friendly. Hold on. Yeah, that's the thing right there. Vegan friendly. Um, let me tell y'all what happened. So I thought this was already recording, and it wasn't. So we had put these up. Look. This one right here is the salted caramel. Um, it's made with cashew milk. Okay, so we're gonna try these on camera. Let me tell you what happened though. For real, for real. So I thought that the camera was recording, and it wasn't recording. So we had already started, but I ain't listen. Okay, I said my grace when I thought it was recording. Okay. <sighs> All right, so this is the salted caramel one. Um I'm not gonna show it to you because like I said, I thought the camera was recording and it went. And um I kinda like ate it. Yeah, so anyway. You want me to ask first bite? And oh drop this stuff. It's good though. I just don't like I just really good. I just don't like the fact that that um it has a really, really strong Caramel taste. Like the caramel taste is like really, really strong in it. Uh, I don't think I too much like that. I don't know. Oh, and I got the other ones that I had the other day. I went and got some more. But I didn't go to the same store though. Because they were extremely high. It's only four in the box. And published charged me like $7. I went to Walmart today. I went grocery shopping. And maybe these things are $4. I'm saying. I'm trying. But it's well worth it. Now in here, in these ones, they're four dollars too. But only three come in the box. So we're gonna see if they good. Um yeah. We're gonna see if they're good. But that's not right. Yeah, I probably like, dang. You don't eat two ice creams back to back. Don't worry about me. I eat a Healthy diet, like off of here. Honestly, I probably like everybody say that. Mm -mm. Like that serious. I take my health seriously. I take my eating seriously. I do these when I have an appetite or something like that. I like really feel like eating. So that's when I do these. I'm sorry, my phone going off. I should. Oh. You ain't got to say in the song, but once, yes, I'm going to focus on y'all, okay? So, yeah. Um, I'll probably get those to my little brother. Just because of how, um, he likes smokers. He likes Snickers. Or whatever. Just because of how strong the caramel taste is, I'll probably get those to him. He been craving ice cream since, since the, um, baby been on the way. Oh, look at this him. That thing. It's decent size. Supposed to be three of them in the box of decent size. Let me smell it. They smell all right. Look, it's got the little M on them. They knew I was going. They knew I was going to get this. The M for much. There you go. Oh, yeah. Oh, I got to give me a microphone. And eat another one of these, boy. Get into that crunch. Oh, I guess it is velvety. You see, it's all bust down, Tatiana. It's all busting down. And it's good. Yeah. I'm gonna let my other brother try this one because it's plant based. So, you know, man, he lactose too, but he can't have chocolate, chocolate. And since this is plant based and stuff like that, he should be able to have it. Mm. 
Yes, they have indulged in it. We found some um strawberry swirl. Non dairy ice cream stuff. And when Dixie. It was pretty good. But it's at other house. And so yeah. Oh chocolate breaking. I don't know what I'm talking about my ice cream. But, um, yeah. Huh? You know my little brother had a baby on there? Yes. We find out if it's the niece or the nephew. Next week. What you mean? All right, now you said you ain't know. But yes, they did fall on. Okay. He be craving ice cream and stuff. I even eat like Snickers. You give me the good stuff. No, boy. Oh. As much as he Snickers, Snickers better um sponsor the baby. Good lord. Mm hmm. Sham. What y'all doing today on this good Saturday? I ain't doing that. I don't plan on doing that. I done cook. I done grocery shop. I probably did too much, especially being that my body flaring. But let's get into that. Let's get into that. I don't never tell y'all, you know, about lupus and things. You know, 90% of the people that have lupus are African American. And, um,. The other 10% are really, um, other 10%, other little percentages are Hispanic people. Um, it's a one percentile of men that get lupus, get it like it's a cold, whatever. Um, the rest is women. Lupus mainly affects women. Um, like I say, it's like very slim chance that men get it. I know Nick Cannon and Trick Daddy got it, um. They just in that, that, that slim percentage or whatever. But other than that, like, it's mainly in females. And it's mainly in African-American people. That's crazy, right? Child, at least we can't get the coronavirus. No, I'm playing. But anyway, I said that because, um, yeah, I just done did a lot today. My body probably going to flare. Well, my body already was um starting to flare because I had been doing too much already. But I like to, you know, if I'm going to be hurting and just, like, not feeling good and down for a day or, or a couple of days, I'll be down for, like, a couple of days. So, like, after today, I'll probably be down for a couple of days because it did too much. But I feel like, why would I go, instead of going full-blown grocery shopping today, like, go half today and then half another day, if I'm already hurting today, like... If I'm already in the grocery store and I can just get everything I need, knowing that I'm going to be down for a couple of days just from doing that, putting up groceries and possibly cooking or whatever. I, I normally cook after I go grocery shopping sometimes or whatever if I can. Um, but like going grocery shopping and then putting the groceries up and all of that stuff and I know I'm just going to be out of whack for the next couple of days. I might as well get everything I need so I can really stay in the house. That's how I look at it. That's how I feel. My doctor be like, no, just do a small grocery run each time you go. And I'm like, dang, that's spreading out my pain over the days. I mean, I already be in pain, but I ain't trying to be in pain, pain, like, all the days. That's just, like, with cleaning up and stuff like that, too. Like, I'm in, listen, you should listen to your body. I'm not saying don't listen to your body. Listen to your body. Like, I listen to my body to a certain extent. Like, I know when my body's going to shut down, so I know when the lights stop. Like, I need to chill because I've been on go, go, go. So, I know I need to chill. That's why I did meal preps, okay, so I could chill. But, um, yeah, like, even with cleaning up, they want you to do one room a day or a part of a room a day. And then give your body some time to rest. Y'all probably like, why you ain't eating? Because, I don't know. I just had a whole ice cream. Yes, I know I'm the one who picked what I wanted to do the video on. But, God. 
I should have ate some fruit. I got some um some apples. I just cut up some kiwi. It's got my finger itching. I don't know if I'm allergic or if it's just a hood. We'll figure it out once we eat it. Anyways, so the things that lupus can affect, it can affect your joints, your muscles, it can affect your organs, like all the organs. There's like three main strands of like lupus is SLE, discoid, and lupus nephritis or something like that. This boy, I believe, is the one that affects the skin more. SLE just, it just, that's what I got. It just, you know, hit everything. I'm talking about everything, everything. Did y'all know your skin is an organ? No, now you know. Muffet told you. Well, what Sadri had told you. Tell him I said it. Pay me for my knowledge. <clears throat> Anyways, but, um. You could be extremely fatigued. I have some days where I can't even get out of bed because I'm just so tired. I could barely lift my head up, like, to do anything. That's why it's good that I am self-employed. Because, like, I could I could handle that downtime. I ain't going to fire me. And for all my other lupus people out there, and you just having a hard time, like, with jobs and stuff like that, find something you like to do. Find something that you're passionate about. And make money off of it. Yeah. And make money off of it because, you know what I'm saying, you won't fire yourself and you know how your body is and you know how you operate. So, you'll know, like, okay, if I want to do this and this might have me, you know, up and down and then I'll be down for a day or two. Get what? You make your schedule, baby. Anyways, um, lupus can cause hair loss. Um... I haven't had none, really, um, really at all. I keep my hair locked, though. Like, this is my second set of locks. I did comb my locks out at one point, but I noticed I was, like, losing more hair with my hair just, um, out, out. So, to kind of keep my length and stuff, I locked it up again. Oh, fun fact, I don't think other people know that or realize that's probably... One of the big reasons I um started my locks again. Plus, I just feel like I look better with my locks. I don't know. And then I don't have to do nothing to my head. Because, again, like, I have times where all the joints in my right arm could inflame. I'm talking about from the shoulder down to the finger joints and stuff like that. And then, like, I don't know if you could tell, like, my knuckles and stuff. Like, the knuckle joint is, like, inflamed right now. So, like, I don't have time to be doing hair, okay? Your lungs are organ, but it can damage your lungs. Um, It can affect your heart as well. Um, I know it affected, like, my sister's heart. It affected her lungs, and it affects my heart, but I'm not going to go into detail because I haven't really told too many people what's going on. But anyway, no. um, it can cause kidney problems. So, being that it attacks your organs, it can cause kidney problems, but also the medication can cause kidney problems. Like, Plaquenil, you have to get blood tests done every so often <laughs> to check your kidney function and your platelet levels and all that other stuff to make sure everything is going to float. But, I don't know, I really think I keep myself afloat because, like, I don't take vitamins. Vitamins make me extremely tired. I don't know. It doesn't matter what kind of vitamins I try. Prenatal vitamins I try. What are they vitamins? Vitamins just make me tired. And I already be tired. And I just don't have time. I don't know. But um, I drink a lot of water. I drink probably. I probably drink like one cup of juice or something like that a day. Other than that, like throughout the day, I'm drinking water. So that's why it's okay to let you know what I'm saying. I eat stuff like that. Okay, um, it's different, but it's good. You know, I just stick to the other ones, the um almond ones that I ate on the video, cause them was busting. Oh mm my, -hmm. I ate two of them in one day. And only four coming about. If you listening, so delicious. Make a big box of the little almond milk ones. Cause they good. Um, 
boom, lupus can cause heart complications. It can. Like with my sister, like it had and took over like a majority of her heart. Um, I was probably tachycardic before, but I've really been like tachycardic. Since, um, no. oh, wait a minute, tachycardic since uh being diagnosed with the lupus and stuff like that, and like I don't know, like I could just be sitting here like doing this, just chilling, and my heart rate could be up. So I be chilling most of the time. Like, I don't try to go nowhere. I don't try to do nothing. Because I don't know how I'm be feeling from point A to point B. So, why not be in the house? But I be out sometimes. Because I just don't be kidding sometimes. Sometimes I just be like, this cannot take over my life. Like, whatever. You can get mouth and nose ulcers. Um, I don't think I should get the mouth one. At all. But my nose, I be like, ah. I know my doctor's probably think I'm crazy, but I just be like, oh, I'm just dying. Lord, help me. Especially, like, when it first started. <laughs> I was like, oh, shit. Oh, I'm excuse That was somebody else. Excuse their language. Not for real, but, like, no would bleed. And I was like, oh, my gosh. And I thought it was because I had been in Jack's and then went back to, um, and then to the other place where it's cold or whatever. And so I'm like, oh my gosh, will the change do this? But no, that's not what it was. And then the rash. Um, lupus can also give you a rash, which that's what they mean by like the butterfly rash. But it can be in more places than just your face. And that's what most people don't realize. Like it can be all over. Like, um, I don't get it. Well, it, it doesn't really leave a mark. Um, in my face, but like it, it comes in my face. It comes in my face. Oh, take that the wrong way. But I do get it, like in my face. But like I can also get the rash, like in here. Oh, and that thing hurt. I'd be like, oh, it's okay. They give me free time to be a real boy. I'm talking about no top, real boyish. Anyways, <laughs> that's my tea. But, um, yeah, like, and then, um, I had a real bad flare some months back, and it was all down my neck, like, all in here, and it was coming. I'm talking about having a face, like, pretty bad. I had to go, you know, get a little steroid cream. Oh, what happens? Um, it does have brain involvement. Like, you can get brain fog. You can have memory loss. Man, I have brain fog sometimes. A lot of times. I just don't be remembering. I just be like, listen. I don't know. Like, I could be talking and then be forget what I was trying to say next. Or forget, like, what I was even talking about in the midst. Like, it just be like, dang. But then I get frustrated because I'm like, dang, like, I really want to. I really wanted to say what I had to say, and I just don't remember. I know y'all probably like, dang, you just didn't eat much. It didn't take you long to get through that. But listen, y'all, I thought the video had started a long time ago, and it did end. And I had to ate the first one. But I just want to talk to y'all. Y'all want to talk to me? Y'all do? Okay. And um, it can cause miscarriages, too. Like, um, the doctors. Cause, yeah, yeah. yeah. People with lupus are prone to miscarriages. But I know, like, I've seen, like, a few people with lupus that has kids. But they might have had kids prior to being diagnosed. Now, granted, it could have been in your system. It might not have been in your system. There is also a such thing as medically induced um, lupus. And sometimes, yeah. <laughs> I've seen, like, like, I'm in, like, different lupus groups on Facebook and stuff like that. And so... Um, it was a few women who say after they took the, I believe it's the HPV shot. That's like after that, that's when they start showing signs and symptoms of lupus and, um, end up getting diagnosed. Now it could take up to five years, five years to be diagnosed with lupus because lupus is a diagnosis of exclusion. So being that lupus mimics a of various amount of other diseases it takes a lot for them to diagnose it so you know what that means you're tearing your body down even more 
because the doctors want to test you out on this medicine, that medicine, this medicine. If this works, then it's this. If this doesn't work, then it's not that. It it looks like you got sickle cell. No, you don't have. So I'm gonna give you some sickle cell medicine. The sickle cell medicine don't help you. Just you you come back in a month. You tell me the sickle cell medicine don't help you or whatever. Then okay, I'm gonna know it's not that. Okay, so then it mimics other stuff. Okay, so then you got fibromyalgia. I have lupus and fibromyalgia. Amongst other things, anyways, like, um, <laughs> for real, like I said, like I said in one of my other videos, like I've always been sickly, but anyways, um, I just be up and cheerful. People don't even know. I don't know my struggle. I, uh, anyways, but yeah, um, I forgot. Oh, yeah, so, like, they give you, like, different meds for different stuff, and da, 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 da. like, with the heart problems, like, being taken card. They be like, oh, you have anxiety. Take some anxiety medicine. You take anxiety medicine. That's anxiety medicine. Anxiety medicine don't work because guess what? It's not anxiety. Okay, the loops just take your heart. Something's wrong. I was going to go into detail anyways. So, um, <clears throat> yeah, it could take up to five years to be diagnosed. And by that time, who knows how much damage it has done, how much damage the different medications has done to your um organs and stuff. Like I know my like, I know my people be mad at me. Like and they was mad at me. Like before, like going through this. We've been going through this since 2015. And honestly, they found it in 2014. But we're not gonna go there. But um, yeah. I got some amazing doctors now though. But yeah, like going through the motions and like going through it or whatever to get to the point where I am now and it just ain't got worse like my pain is horrible but anyways that's neither here nor there but to get here like they had to test different things then the doctors are trying certain doctors are trying to make like you're crazy insurance companies really don't want to get you insurance because because lupus takes to even for them to even feel like you have it it takes a lot of medical treatment it takes medications and stuff like that lupus patients have a lot of er visits hospital stays and things of that nature i don't be trying to let them folks keep me okay listen no i want to go home and get in my own bed like i don't know like when i go to the er like was the medicine work or not but if it may if the medicine make me sleepy i just be ready to go home it, it's really easy to agitate me if I'm hurting and it's easy to agitate me if I'm sleepy like just leave me alone stop touching me stop poking on me stop <laughs> if I told you I'm hurting why you gonna poke me why you want to push touch with <laughs> keep your hands to yourself ain't that what your mom told you but yeah like because it's so costly like they don't they really don't want to give you insurance for it but whatever you can work through that you know what I'm saying? It took, it honestly took me going out of state to get the help that I needed. Crazy, right? Yes. But yes, um, I done seen, they have lupus patients, like with psychiatrists, therapists, and all this and that stuff. Because they probably like, it's in your mind. And I had like a million dollars. I had a cardiologist, a neurologist, rheumatologist, primary care somebody else ologist all of that like listen i promise you i am not crazy and then you just start thinking you're crazy sometimes just like damn like am i thinking myself into this maybe i'm thinking too hard maybe it's not and you just realize i ain't crazy they crazy i know what i feel i know my body baby take a walk in my shoes okay What did it say? Oh, yeah. See, it say many suffer from cardiovascular disease, strokes, painful joints. And, like, they call it the invisible disease or whatever, or invisible illness because you really can't see these things. Like, I be on here... Yeah, and I go through life and I just be like really chipper. Like you really have to mask it. I really have to mask it because it's like I'm in pain all the time. So why I'ma just like 
I don't know. And then I have my days where I just don't want to be around nobody because, like, bro, like, I'm in pain. Like, I'm really tired of hiding. And, like, I'm to that point now. I just don't be feeling like hiding it no more. So, at first, I just got tired of answering people because I know they was like, well, damn, bitch, I was, <laughs> excuse their language. But, like, well, they ain't like something always wrong. Like, I done had people be like, dang, you always see. Or you don't never feel good. Or something always wrong. Well, duh. <laughs> you don't think I know that? You don't think I feel some type of way about that? Just don't talk to me. Shit. It be irritating. Like, you think it don't bother me? Just leave me alone. Leave me to my lonely. And you won't have to hear it. After a while, I just start telling people. They be like, how you doing today? Oh, I'm good, girl. I'm good. You is? What you doing today? Nothing. I'm planning on doing that. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm all right. Be like, how you feeling? How you loop is going? Oh, it's going good, girl. Everything is good. Be <laughs> lying. But I just don't feel like in it. And I just don't feel like, I don't know. I was just to the point where, like, dog, I'm tired of saying it. Like, shoot, I feel the same as I felt the other day. The other time you asked me. I mean, I do have good days. I do. Every blue moon, I have good days. Like, the other week, I had a really good week. And I was like, oh, my God. <laughs> and that's when I overdid it. And now I'm here where I'm at. Like, now, like, I need to go put my feet up. But um, I'm talking to y'all. I'll go put my feet up in a minute. I probably take me a nap too. Yeah, get me a good little nap in. Um, yeah, cause yeah, but yeah, but now nah, I'll be good. You don't like it? Don't talk to me. Don't ask me how I'm doing. Don't ask me how my health is. You don't want to hear it for real? Don't ask me. Ooh. I don't care to share with you no way. I don't think my sister, my sister is about the only person who, like, really know, like, really be knowing, really be knowing and knowing that. And my mama, like, my mama can look in my face and tell, my sister can look in my face and tell. But, like, I tell my sister, like, in depth how I'm feeling and stuff like that. I tell my mama sometimes. But I really, really talk to my sister. I don't know. Maybe because we the same sign. Maybe because we still stand brother. I don't know. I just be talking to them. So, an autoimmune disease, which is lupus is an autoimmune disease, is a condition caused by the, the um body's defense system, the immune system, producing antibodies that attack the healthy body tissue. So, the immune systems, so basically the immune systems weapons against invaders and stuff like that you know what i'm saying like your body is basically attacking itself like that's stupid like you'll stop okay like you gotta talk to you about that you um tighten up all right you know what i'm saying it's like <laughs> having multiple personalities and they just be <laughs> at each other listen y'all is one one is y'all okay like so your body just attack itself Or whatever. And ain't no cure. Like, it's crazy. All this science in the world and ain't no cure. Shoot. Got me wanting to just go out and just become a, a, a scientist, a doctor or something. Come up with a cure. I'm trying to help me help you. I'm trying to I'm trying to help us together. That's just like, what I be telling people, they be like, dang, why you eat crabs if you, uh, uh, why you be eating crabs and stuff if you're allergic to it. I'm trying to find a cure for allergies for it, okay? So I don't be allergic no more. All right? Because, you know, the flu is in the flu shot. And the flu shot keep you from getting the flu, right? So, if you're allergic to crabs, why you can't eat crabs to keep you from allergic to the crabs? I don't know. Make it make sense. I don't know. But I take my binge and I eat it. Let me enjoy a little bit, a little piece of life, okay? Already around here, gotta cut out caffeine and things of that nature. Oh, y'all see? Mm -hmm. Oh, my face swelling. 
Um, <laughs> see, I told y'all I did too much. I'll probably go get in the, probably go get in the shower after this and then um, lay it down for the day. No, I'm not gonna lay it down for the day. I am gonna come back with y'all, uh, come back to y'all with another video because I got some. Hold on. I'm going to show y'all later. Y'all can see later what I got. But I got some stuff. And I want to try it. And I want to try it with y'all. Okay. And so I'm going to try it with y'all. Thanks for that bitch. And if it's good. I'm going to make some sliders. And if it's good. I'm going to make some nachos with it. Man if it's good. I'm going to go get some buns. And make a burger. I don't know. It depends on if it's good. Mm -hmm. I'm really trying to wait too close to time for my mama to get home so I could go make that. But I did prep some salads and stuff, some fish, little asparagus and potatoes and stuff. Ooh. It's going to be scrumdily anxious. Okay. But anyways, I'm going to let y'all go. I got a call to make. Um, yes. Lupus Awareness Month is in May. You know what I'm saying? But if you feel like before then you want to wear purple for somebody with lupus, you can wear purple for me, baby. Okay, you can wear purple whenever you want to wear purple. You know, purple. I, you know, I knew I was special a long time ago and everything. And then now I got lupus and I know I'm real special because I believe in the Bible. If it's not there, I done heard it before, but purple means royalty and so i'm real royal over here real real royal and everything so you know wear a little purple for me wear a little purple for somebody else you might know what lupus wear a little purple for all these african-american females with lupus for all these african-american men with lupus for all these people with lupus period just wear a little purple god dog on it you, you. You see some purple and it's nice. Get that for you. And wear it for somebody with lupus, okay? You know what I'm saying? We could chit chat about this in you know, some of my other videos. Ooh. Like upcoming videos. We could chit chat about this. Because it's something that needs to be brought aware. Like everybody, you know what I'm saying? They have lupus walks and things of that nature. And if you can't get out there and walk, like um last year, I couldn't do the walk. So they have virtual walks for people who can't get out there and walk. Do the virtual walk with us. Join a team. Make a team. Make a donation. You know what I'm saying? A little funding so we could come up with a cure. It might not be us coming up with a cure. They might be over there coming up with a cure. But it's going to be a cure for it. And you know what I'm saying? I speak that. Over the lupus community. I speak cure over the lupus community. I speak that over our lives. Because you know what I'm saying? This ain't, this ain't it. This ain't it. You know what? That might be why God kept putting on my heart to make a YouTube channel. Because I'm supposed to bring awareness for these things. They bring awareness for AIDS. They bring awareness for cancer. And like they really broadcast and show like only certain diseases. Like it's more than just that out here. You know what I'm saying? They, they broadcast sickle cell as well. I see sickle cell a lot. That's things that people know about. But you like I didn't know about lupus till I found out my sister. Well, yeah, till I found out my sister had it. And I just wanted to know, like, I was curious to know as to, like, what she was going through. Like, because she was the, in the hospital all the time. And every time she would go to the hospital, you know what I'm saying? She would call our dad and be like, bring my little sister out here. And maybe she knew what was over my life before, you know what I'm saying, I got diagnosed. Like, it's, it's other people, like, that done came into my mom's job and stuff like that. And they're like, and they seen me and they're like, um... Your daughter has the moon face. So I was like, what's that? And she was like, it's something that people with lupus have. Like the one lady, she was like, some people with lupus have, you have the, the light spots and the darker spots and it's rounded. And that can come from um, the rounding of the face and stuff could come from the prednisone too. I've been on prednisone a while. You're not supposed to be on prednisone long term. Well, I can't lose no weight. God. Nah, but I've been on prednisone for for uh, on and off for years, honestly, because I have asthma as well, chronic asthma. Get what they treat that with, prednisone. Get what they treat the lupus with, prednisone. 
but I'd rather be fat and and uninflamed and unimpained or slightly unimpained and you know what I'm saying able to operate then you know what I'm saying off of it and around here miserable because guess what <gasps> y'all heard that I could breathe these lungs good because it's strengthening your lungs too boop y'all anyways anyways I'm finna head out for real for this time so as always if ain't nobody tell you they love you today I love you be unbothered be unchained no be unbothered be unmoved life is too short to be anything other than happy so laugh when you can. Shoot, laugh all the time. Because you never know when death is going to be at your doorstep and you're going to be the next one walking out. Have a good evening.